Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, got up, got done milking cows up there at the main farm, about a mile from there. Came down here, fed these dry cows, heifers are looking good. They're all lined up. We're gonna finish chopping that hay today. Got the first silo done, started feeding out of it. The second silo we're filling, we fill it up full about one day. We, we cranked off 60 acres of hay. And when you do that, it's going to settle and shrink. So I'm going to let it sit a couple days. That was the past two days. Now we're, I figure I'll put maybe six, seven more loads in there. I'm not quite sure. And uh, we get that done. And maybe I'll take you in there again and uh, show you how we level it and do the complete process. And uh, plus we'll try to get over there and catch up with Dad uh, chopping the rest of that field. So let's go. Let's get it done.
So you've seen that, that silo working. Got a little dry on us at the end there. Um, we were just happy to get it done. We didn't care. He, he just chopped it. The stuff below is, is, is greener, and that's the main part. That top stuff, that'll get fed off fairly quick. See, I got the blower pulled out. Okay, I'll probably leave that hooked up because we're going to revisit these hay silos for in, for third cutting. We'll refill them because of the shrink and then feeding them for two months. There'll be a third low. They might even be, this. that one might be half full. So we'll refill that with third cutting to get us through winter and to get us through about this time next year. So you'll be seeing that again. We got this pretty well cleaned up. Didn't do too bad of a job. Um, as you can see here, this silo is going to be next to ours. This is corn. Check that out. That's the inside of your corn silo. That's how low I am. Okay, that is how low I am. I'm about to start busting in. Let me let drop that. I'm about to start busting in the mag bags. I'm going to show you how I feed out of them. We bagged the corn. So the reason that we got two hay, two corn, and one high moisture, the hay we refill. The corn, we do not. We'll fill them. And by the time those babies are full in the fall, there's no refilling. Your corn's too dry, okay? So we'll fill them, start feeding on them, fill three egg bags, get us by. That's how we do it. Hey, we got so excited. We got this done, got feed on them. We put them wagons away for two months. We swept them off. They didn't get much rain on them, so we just put them away in the barn. I'll show you that. So I'm in the back shed. Here's the wagons put away, lined up. There's six of them. And, you know, that's the reason why they stay in the shape they do. These things are... Uh, they're about as old as I am or a little older and two more here I've got yet to put back in front of them uh, wash them down take care of them and they seem to last forever chopper 8400 still hooked up probably leave it hooked up for that third cutting in two months uh, reason being is we're not gonna need this tractor for anything else that's the benefit of having a lot of different tractors and I know they'll check that over before to get it out of the way because they'll be doing wheat harvest before that happens so now on to the special group of heifers they got to stay at the mar -a lago resort that i referenced to because this is the spot this is the shaded the pasture that they get to live life drink out of a pond let's check them out How'd you like to the look from above that house in the background that was mine that's where i live right next to the farm so they can keep an eye on me so this is what me and rochelle get to enjoy every night since we put these girls out here 
This is a nice shade corner. These are apple trees here. I got them trimmed up so they won't eat on them too hard. But once the apples fall, they, they eat the crap out of them. I'll chuck them over. You can tell they're real friendly. We spend a lot of time with them out here. The kids just love it. Plus, they've got this big oak tree here in the corner. They, they lay under that when it gets real hot during the day. The sun's starting to set. Just got done milking, showered up, cleaned up, uh, done shopping. We're really happy about that. So as, as we move forward, we'll cut down the rest of our first cutting and we'll get the rest of that done. There's probably 120 some acres left of first cutting that we got to, we'll bail up, we'll round bail up and we'll get done for the uh, heifers down there, dry cow lot and the heifers in these barns. So I hope you like the, uh, the tour of the heifers out out at their little resort that's why i said marlago yeah marlago resort that was just to be funny because the ones that get to be out here just happen to be the perfect age and we'll put a bull out here next month so we'll get them all bred and uh you know what can i say this is like a little paradise better than being cooped up in a barn so well on that note i hope you liked the video uh stay on the dairy products june's dairy month and uh see you in the next one thanks